standard vehicle stabilization kit incorporates two 25 to 36 inch Acme rescue struts, two 24 inch extensions, two 12 inch extensions, two 12 inch by 12 inch hinge base with anchor ring, two multi head, four ratchet straps, and two tie down keys. We got a vehicle on its side. Here, we're going to come in first. We're going to put our primary stabilization in, which are going to be two wedges, one at the C post, one at the A post. Then we're going to come with the Acme rescue struts. We're going to put one up to the A post in the front of the car, one opposite side on the, the wheel side of the car, tighten them in. Then the, the rescue struts will become your primary stabilization. Okay, we're going to put together our stabilization strut to go on the cockpit side of the car. One, I've got my 25 to 36 inch strut. That is no top or bottom to the strut. It can be used in any orientation. It does not take away from capacity. I'm going to put together my extensions. Extensions only go on the solid end of the strut, never on the piston end. Multi base is going to go on my angle base, and I'm ready to go in. Bring my strut in, set my angle. Position it into the corner of the A-post, ready to put my ratchet strap on. Now I'm going to put my ratchet strap and tie-down keys on the cockpit side of the car. There's not really many places where I can put my ratchet strap where it has to go on the underside of the car, the wheel side. So I'm going to come in with my tie-down keys. I'm going to hook onto my A-post. I'm going to come in with the ratchet strap. I'm going to pull my ratchet strap all the way through and hook it back onto itself. Reason is, I may need the actual belt. Hook my ratchet strap on, take up the slack, ratchet into place. Always put your handle down. Then, the car does not move. I'm Nigel Leatherby with Paratech. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. If you want to see more, please like or subscribe. <laughs>